A universally unique identifier UUID, is a 128-bit number used to identify information in computer systems. The term globally unique identifier GUID, is also used, typically in software created by Microsoft. When generated according to the standard methods, UUIDs are for practical purposes unique, without depending for the uniqueness on a central registration authority or coordination between the parties generating them, unlike most other numbering schemes. While the probability that a UUID will be duplicated is not zero, it is close enough to zero to be negligible. Thus, anyone can create a UUID and use it to identify something with near certainty that the identifier does not duplicate one that has already been, or will be, created to identify something else. Information labeled with UUIDs by independent parties can therefore be later combined into a single database or transmitted on the same channel, with a negligible probability of duplication. Adoption of UUIDs and GUIDs is widespread, with many computing platforms providing support for generating them and for parsing their textual representation. History UUIDs were originally used in the Apollo Network Computing System and later in the Open Software Foundation's Distributed Computing Environment The initial design of DCE UUIDs was based on the NCS UUIDs, whose design was in turn inspired by the 64-bit unique identifiers defined and used pervasively in Domain, OS, an operating system also designed by Apollo Computer. Later, the Microsoft Windows platforms adopted the DCE design as globally unique identifiers GUIDs. RFC 4122 registered a earn namespace for UUIDs and recapitulated the earlier specifications, with the same technical content. By the time RFC 4122 was published as a proposed IETF standard, the ITU had also standardized UUIDs, based on the previous standards and early versions of RFC 4122. <laughs> standards UUIDs are standardized by the Open Software Foundation OSF as part of the Distributed Computing Environment DCE. UUIDs are documented as part of ISO, IEC 11578-1996. Information Technology, Open Systems Interconnection, Remote Procedure Call RPC and more recently in ITUT Rec. By.667, ISO, IEC 9834-8-2005, the Internet Engineering Task Force IETF, published the standards track RFC 4122, technically equivalent to ITUT Rec. By.667, ISO, IEC 9834-8 Format In its canonical textual representation, the 16 octets of a UUID are represented as 32 hexadecimal base 16 digits, displayed in five groups separated by hyphens, in the form 8 4 4 4 1 2 for a total of 36 characters 32 alphanumeric characters and four hyphens. For example, 
123E4567E89B12D3A456-426654404 XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
In this format, the first six octets of the UUID are a 48-bit timestamp, the number of four microsecond units of time since the 1st of January 1980 UTC. The next two octets are reserved. The next octet is the address family, and the final seven octets are a 56-bit host ID in the form specified by the address family. Though different in detail, the similarity with modern version 1 UUIDs is evident. The variant bits in the current UUID specification coincide with the high bits of the address family octet in NCS UUIDs. Though the address family could hold values in the range 0, 0.255, only the values 0, 0.13 were ever defined. Accordingly, the variant 0-bit pattern 0xxx avoids conflicts with historical NCS UUIDs, should any still exist in databases, the 3-bit variant bit pattern 111 by 2 n. E F is reserved for possible future variants. The other two variants, variants 1 and 2, are used by the current UUID specifications. Variant 1 UUIDs 10xx2n. Topic 8b 2 bits are referred to as RFC 4122 DCE 1.1 UUIDs or leach salts UUIDs after the authors of the original internet draft variant 2 110 by 2n C D 3 bits is characterized in the RFC as reserved Microsoft Corporation backward compatibility and was used for early GUIDs on the Microsoft Windows platform Variant bits aside, the two variants are the same, except that when reduced to a binary form for storage or transmission, variant 1 UUIDs use network Big Endian byte order, while variant 2 GUIDs use native little Endian byte order. In their textual representations, variants 1 and 2 are the same, except for the variant bits. When byte swapping is required to convert between the Big Endian byte order of variant 1 and the little Endian byte order of variant 2, the fields above define the swapping. The first three fields are unsigned 32 and 16-bit integers and are subject to swapping, while the last two fields consist of uninterpreted bytes, not subject to swapping. This byte swapping applies even for versions 3, 4, and 5, where the canonical fields do not correspond to the content of the UUID. Note that while some important GUIDs, such as the identifier for the component object model IUnknown interface, are nominally variant 2 UUIDs, many identifiers generated and used in Microsoft Windows software and referred to as GUIDs. A standard variant 1 RFC 4122, DCE 1.1 network byte order UUIDs, rather than little endian variant 2 UUIDs. The current version of the Microsoft Gwijin tool produces standard variant 1 UUIDs. Some Microsoft documentation states that, GWID is a synonym for UUID. As standardized in RFC 4122. RFC 4122 itself states that UUIDs are also known as GUIDs. All this suggests that GWID 
While originally referring to a variant of UUID used by Microsoft, has become simply an alternative name for UUID, with both Variant 1 and Variant 2 GUIDs being extant. Versions <laughs> 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 For both variants 1 and 2, five versions are defined in the standards, and each version may be more appropriate than the others in specific use cases. Version is indicated by the M in the string representation. Version 1 UUIDs are generated from a time and are noded usually the MAC address, version 2 UUIDs are generated from an identifier usually a group or user id, time, and are noded, versions 3 and 5 produce deterministic UUIDs generated by hashing a namespace identifier and name, and version 4 UUIDs are generated using a random or pseudo-random number. Topic. NIL UUID The NIL UUID, a special case, is the UUID 0000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
documents can sometimes be traced to the computers where they were created or edited through UUIDs embedded into them by word processing software. This privacy hole was used when locating the creator of the Melissa virus. RFC 4122 does allow the MAC address in a version 1 or 2 UUID to be replaced by a random 48 bit noded, either because the node does not have a MAC address, or because it is not desirable to expose it. In that case, the RFC requires that the least significant bit of the first octet of the noded should be set to 1. This corresponds to the multicast bit in MAC addresses, and setting it serves to differentiate UUIDs where the noded is randomly generated from those based on MAC addresses from network cards, which typically have unicast MAC addresses. Topic Version Two Date Time and MAC Address DCE Security Version RFC four thousand one hundred and twenty two reserves version two for DCE Security UUIDs, but it does not provide any details. For this reason, many UUID implementations omit version two. However, the specification of version 2 UUIDs is provided by the DCE 1.1 Authentication and Security Services specification. Version 2 UUIDs are similar to version 1, except that the least significant 8 bits of the clock sequence are replaced by a local domain number, and the least significant 32 bits of the timestamp are replaced by an integer identifier meaningful within the specified local domain. On POSIX systems, local domain numbers 0 and 1 air for user IDs UIDs and group IDs GIDs respectively, and other local domain numbers are site-defined. On non-POSIX systems, all local domain numbers are site-defined. The ability to include a 40-bit domain – identifier in the UUID comes with a trade-off. On the one hand, 40 bits allow about 1 trillion domain – identifier values per node ID. On the other hand, with the clock value truncated to the 28 most significant bits, compared to 60 bits in version 1, the clock in a version 2 UUID will tick only once every 429.49 seconds, a little more than 7 minutes, as opposed to every 100 nanoseconds for version 1. And with a clock sequence of only 6 bits, compared to 14 bits in version 1, only 64 unique UUIDs per node, domain, identifier can be generated per 7-minute clock tick, compared to 16,384 clock sequence values for version 1. Thus, version the second of may not be suitable for cases where UUIDs are required, per node, domain, identifier, at a rate exceeding about 1 per 7 seconds. Topic. Versions 3 and 5 namespace name based. Version 3 and version 5 UUIDs are generated by hashing a namespace identifier and name. Version 3 uses MD5 as the hashing algorithm, and version 5 uses SHA-1, the namespace identifier is itself a UUID. The specification provides UUIDs to represent the namespaces for URLs, fully qualified domain names, object identifiers, and by.500 distinguished names, but any desired UUID may be used as a namespace designator. To determine the version 3 UUID corresponding to a given namespace and name, the UUID of the namespace is transformed to a string of bytes, concatenated with the input name, then hashed with MD5, yielding 128 bits. 
Then 6 or 7 bits are replaced by fixed values, the 4-bit version e.g. 00112 for version 3, and the 2 or 3-bit UUID variant, e.g. 102 indicating a RFC 4122 UUIDs, or 1102 indicating a legacy Microsoft GUID. Since 6 or 7 bits are thus predetermined, only 121 or 122 bits contribute to the uniqueness of the UUID. Version 5 UUIDs are similar, but SHA-1 is used instead of MD-5. Since SHA-1 generates 160-bit digests, the digest is truncated to 128 bits before the version and variant bits are replaced. Version 3 and version 5 UUIDs have the property that the same namespace and name will map to the same UUID. However, neither the namespace nor name can be determined from the UUID, given the other, except by brute force search. RFC 4122 recommends version 5 over version 3 and counsels against use of UUIDs of either version as security credentials. Topic. Version 4 random. A version 4 UUID is randomly generated. As in other UUIDs, 4 bits are used to indicate version 4, and 2 or 3 bits to indicate the variant 102 or 1102 for variants 1 and 2 respectively. Thus, for variant 1 that is, most UUIDs a random version 4 UUID will have 6 predetermined variant and version bits, leaving 122 bits for the randomly generated part, for a total of 2122, or 5.3 times 1036 5.3 possible version 4 variant 1 UUIDs. There are half as many possible version 4 variant 2 UUIDs legacy GUIDs because there is one less random bit available, three bits being consumed for the variant. Collisions <coughs> 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 Collision occurs when the same UUID is generated more than once and assigned to different reference. In the case of standard version 1 and version 2 UUIDs using unique MAC addresses from network cards, collisions can occur only when an implementation varies from the standards, either inadvertently or intentionally. In contrast to version 1 and 2, UUIDs using randomly generated nodids, hash-based version 3 and version 5 UUIDs, and random version 4 UUIDs, collisions can occur even without implementation problems, albeit with a probability so small that it can normally be ignored. This probability can be computed precisely based on analysis of the birthday problem, for example, the number of random version 4 UUIDs which need to be generated in order to have a 50% probability of at least one collision is 2.71 quintillion, computed as follows n approximately equals 1 2 plus 1 4 plus 2 times lane 2 times 2 122 approximately equals 2.71 times 10 18 
Display style n approximately frac one two plus sqrt frac one four plus two times lane two times two carat one hundred and twenty two approximately two point seven one times ten carat eighteen. This number is equivalent to generating 1 billion UUIDs per second for about 85 years, and a file containing this many UUIDs, at 16 bytes per UUID, would be about 45 exabytes, many times larger than the largest databases currently in existence, which are on the order of hundreds of petabytes, the smallest number of version 4 UUIDs which must be generated for the probability of Finding a collision to be P is approximated by the formula two times two one hundred and twenty two times lane one one minus P Display style SQRT two times two carat one hundred and twenty two times lane frac one one P Thus, the probability to find a duplicate within one hundred and three trillion version four UUIDs is one in a billion. In practice, collisions are reported, such incidents are considered as software bugs. Topic Uses Significant uses include EXT2, EXT3, EXT4 file system user space tools, E2F Sprogs uses LibreOud provided by Util Linux, Lux encrypted partitions, GNOME, KDE, and MacOS, most of which are derived from the original implementation by Theodore So. One of the uses of UUIDs in Solaris using Open Software Foundation implementation is identified identification of a running operating system instance for the purpose of pairing crash dump data with fault management event in the case of kernel panic. In COM There are several flavors of GUIDs used in Microsoft's Component Object Model IID interface identifier the ones that are registered on a system are stored in the Windows registry at HKEY underscore classes underscore root interface CLSID class identifier stored at HKEY underscore classes underscore root CLSID LIBID type library identifier stored at HKEY underscore classes underscore root type lib CATID category identifier its presence on a class identifies it as belonging to certain class categories listed at HKEY underscore classes underscore root component categories Topic as database keys. UUIDs are commonly used as a unique key in database tables. The NEWID function in Microsoft SQL Server version 4 Transact SQL returns standard random version 4 UUIDs, while the NEWSEQUENTIALID function returns 128 bit identifiers similar to UUIDs which are committed to ascend in sequence until the next system reboot. The Oracle database sys underscore GUID function does not return a standard GUID, despite the name. Instead, it returns a 16-byte 128-bit raw value based on a host identifier and a process or thread identifier, somewhat similar to a GUID. PostgreSQL contains a UUID data type and can generate most versions of UUIDs through the use of functions from modules. 
MySQL provides a UUID function, which generates standard version 1 UUIDs. The random nature of standard UUIDs of versions 3, 4, and 5, and the ordering of the fields within standard versions 1 and the second of may create problems with database locality or performance when UUIDs are used as primary keys. For example, in 2002 Jimmy Nielsen reported a significant improvement in performance with Microsoft SQL Server when the version 4 UUIDs being used as keys were modified to include a non-random suffix based on system time. This so-called comb Combined time GUID approach made the UUIDs non standard and significantly more likely to be duplicated, as Nielsen acknowledged, but Nielsen only required uniqueness within the application. See also Birthday attack Object Identifier OID Uniform Resource Identifier URI.